Hello, my name is Josh Laufenberg, and I lead a partner account management team for Worldwide Public Sector at AWS. Today, I'm joined by Dr. Chelsea Pham, the Vice President of Information Technology at Hartnell College, and Robert Ferelli, the CEO of the Ferelli Group. Today, we're here to talk about where Hartnell College used the services of Ferelli to recover from a ransomware attack. So, Dr. Pham, I'd love you to give us some background on Hartnell College and what led you to reach out to, to Robert and his team? So um, Hartnell Community College is in Salinas. We serve about um, 12,000 students and about 800 staff um, and faculty. And we reached out to Ferrelli. It was a, a Sunday morning at 6 a.m. and I got a call that the network was down and um, discovered that we were victims of a ransomware attack. Uh, we've had a long relationship with Ferrelli, and so in this crisis, we just really needed someone to call to help us get back on our feet. And that's what made us reach out to Ferrelli. Wow, that is definitely a time of crisis. Well, Robert, uh, tell us a little bit about your team and, and why you're so good at answering those 9 a.m. Eastern Time phone calls on a weekend. Well, I mean, Ferrelli services higher education. We focus on optimizing their technology, increasing enrollment, and improving graduation rates. So we're really hyper-focused on our higher education partners. And so we've had the opportunity to work with Hartnell since 2018. And because of that long relationship, we had already started the discussions about a cloud migration to AWS. What happened was, when the cyber event happened, we immediately thought about, why don't we instead of rebuilding on-prem, take this directly to the AWS cloud. Tell us a little bit about when you were talking with Robert and his team, why AWS was the right decision to get Hartnell back on its feet. In this day and age, you can't buy a server overnight. You can't just <laughs> say, hey, Amazon or AWS, ship me one, right? There's no way to buy one. Chips are in shortage supply. So we had to get back on our feet ASAP. And the way to do that is to spin up all your services on AWS. And we knew we can get that within days. Awesome. So speaking of days, Robert, how long did it take to go from full outage to help Hartnell recover and be able to serve its students and its important mission? Well, as an AWS and a Lucian partner, we do these migrations all the time. So we have a number of pre-built scripts and uh, processes in order to do these migrations quickly. We were actually able to move the student information system, which sometimes takes months or even years for some colleges, within a matter of days. And Robert, as you mentioned before, Ferelli works with many customers across higher education. You've got a lot of experience with AWS and with the various uh, systems that power the campus. What's next? Where did you take those conversations once things got up? One of the things I want to talk about is how Dr. Pham took it to the next step. Uh, at a community college, we serve a lot of underserved students. And if you could tell us a little bit about the Amazon App Stream uh, implementation that you layered on top of this, I think that would be great. So what we did was one of the impacted areas was our student labs. So we ran on VMs, which is virtual machines, in all, across all of our student labs across five campuses. And that server went down. That was no longer available. Our students could not you know, do any of their homework, basically, on our laboratories anymore. So what we did was we went and we explored AppStream 2.0. I've had a little bit of experience with the AppStream, but not to the extent that we I wanted to take it to. And really, we spun up AppStream um, in a matter of weeks to get our student labs back up. So they had Chromebooks. From the, um, from the pandemic, right? They were offered Chromebooks. Uh, but what we did was we put on AppStream. Now they could do AutoCAD, they could do Photoshop. They could do it from home. They can now do it on their Chromebook. Um, and that was all through the AppStream process. And by offering them this type of technology, um, you can imagine the students who didn't have the opportunity to learn you know, something like AutoCAD before, when they had to go into a lab, now they can do it through Amazon AppStream. And it really opened up the eyes for um, other students, right? Some, we also teach uh, at prisons. Mm -hmm. uh, and so that technology can be brought there through this, through this window. And that makes access to those applications to an underserved population. Um, I, it, it, nothing's closer to the mission of uh, Hartnell College than doing that. What advice would you have to one of your peers who's looking at modernization and, and how to approach or even thinking about ransomware protection? What would you tell them given your experience? 
I tell them, don't think about it, just move. Because um, it's not about, you have to stop the talk because you can talk forever. Um, and you just need to start the move now. Uh, and if you don't, um, you know, it's just, you're gonna pay for it later. What advice or what learnings did your team see or uh, achievements at Heart Now that you think people should think about more as they consider their modernization journey? Ransomware is rampant in higher education. My colleges that are on the cloud have avoided that bullet. The cloud technologies are so far advanced to what we can do on-prem. And um, I've actually had a college that was midway in a cloud migration. And nothing on the cloud was impacted, but their on-prem stuff was. And I'm gonna repeat what Dr. Pham said. If you, if you haven't done it yet, just do it and get to the other side. Um, it's going to uh, bolster your security uh, tenfold. I can't express that enough. It has saved more institutions um, being on the cloud. Thank you for spending some time with us to hear from Robert Ferrelli and Dr. Pham about uh, how AWS has helped Hartnell College come back from a crisis and empower the future of their mission.